so the question is we are given with a tree and we need to print it by level by level so how i can print this tree as level by level order before moving on to this part let's first see how i can print this tree as like this to print the tree i'll use a queue why queue because queue is a fifo data structure first in first out so what i will do i will simply take a queue by the name of queue and i need a result array to store my result so i will take a queue and i will put the root into the queue while my queue is not empty i will take it out the value you can say let's name it current current will be q dot get in the starting we will put root while my queue is not empty i will take it out one by one and i will ask if this current has a left child if this current has a left child i will add that child to q which is 9 i will ask if this current has a right child if yes then i will add that to and at the end i will append this current to my result array current dot value so 3 is gone now i just have 9 and 20 in my array in my queue so now i will take out now my current will become 9 i will ask for the left child of the current it's not there so i will ask the right child it's not there i will simply append my 9 to the result so first i added 3 now i added 9 so 9 is out now i am at 20 so my current is now 20 i will ask if my 20 as a left child yet so i will add that to my queue now will ask does it have a right child yet oh, sorry it was the left child it was the right child so yet yes it does have the right child so i add it to the queue <coughs> and at the end i will append that 20 to the result array now i take out 15 now my current will begin 15 i will ask does 15 have a left child no does 15 have a right child no then i will simply append 15 to my result array now i take out the 7 now my current begin 7 i will ask if this current have a left child no does it have a right child no then i simply append it to my result array and this is my answer if i need to print it in a line in a single array but our question is little different our question is we need to print it in this way so let's see how i can get the tree level by level so let me make the tree here 
9 20 15 7 for this also I need few things I need a result array in which I will show my result I need a queue and let's start so my queue is here and let me raise this so that I can store my result so in the starting I'll put my root to the queue Q dot put root. So now my root have my Q have three. While my Q is not empty. I will make a empty list and why I'm making this empty list because element at the same level in a different array so let me take out the size size of my array it's q dot q size And why I'm taking out this size to check how many element I need to put at each level. So I have the queue, I have an empty array, I have the size. When my while my size is not equal to zero. I will take out this 3 current equal to q dot get and I will append this current to a so if I take a here so now my a has 3 and I will ask does my current have a left child if current dot left is not none yes it have a child which is 9 so I will put that child in the queue So let me write it down q dot put current dot left if my current dot have right child I'll put that to to my q so I put it 20 at the end I will reduce the size by 1 here my size is 0 and I will append a to my result array so my a is this thing so I did a here now I again came here while my queue is not empty I initialize a new empty array I taken out the size which is 2 while my size is not 0 I will take out the first element which is 9 and I will append it to A so 
my a will now have 9 and I will ask does that 9 have a left child no it don't have any left child does this 9 have a right child no it does not have any right child too at the end I will reduce my size by 1 now my size is became 1 and let me write it down if length of a not equal to 0 I will append it so I again came here now I take out 20 so I added the 20 to a so I added 20 I will ask if this 20 have a left child yes it does have I add that to my Q does this have a right child yes I will add that 2 to my Q and I reduce my size and at the end I will append my A to result now again I will take 15 and I will follow these steps again and at the end our A will be like this and I will append that A to my result 15 17 and at the end I will return my result which will be T920 15 and this was what question has asked us so let's write the code before writing the code we will be using Q so let's import Q and let's start so we need a resulting array and Q will be Q dot and let's check the base case if root is none if we will simply return none let's put the root into the queue while our queue is not empty we will initialize a empty list and we will take out the size and for size we use q size while size is not equal to 0 I will take out the first element and I will append that element to A and if current dot left not none I'll simply put it to Q same way I will check the right 
child and i will put the right child to the queue and at the end i will reduce the size by 1 and if size of length a is not equal to 0 so because if if it's empty there is no use to add it to the resulting array so if not then i will append it to resulting array at end the end we will return the resulting array so let's run it so the answer is correct if you have any question please let me know in the comment section i will try my level best to help you out Thank you so much for watching the video please don't forget to subscribe